Gotham City. My city. Long ago, I began my one-man crusade to protect her from crime and injustice. And then, along came... Surprise! But you need a break. Crime doesn't take vacations. If there's one hero in this world that needs a vacay, it is definitely you! <sighs> Fine. When do we leave? Right now. So long! Farewell! With his most powerful friends protecting Gotham City. I'm filling in for the Dark Knight while he's away on vacation. Vacation? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> the Joker has escaped from Arkham Asylum. That's about as serious as it can get. <laughs> There's nothing fun about crime, Joker. Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at the Directors Guild of America, New York City, for the world premiere of Lego DC Comics Superheroes Justice League Gotham City Breakout, an original movie. That's right. And I'm here with Jason Spizak. Hello. How you doing? I'm well, thank you for asking. Jason plays the Joker. I know, it's crazy. I play a uh, Lego Joker who also talks to a spoon the entire movie. So, but that spoon has uh, some specific properties that are very good, right? It does. He helps. He helps me get out of Arkham. You know. So the whole movie, I, I keep him as my treasured pal and friend. Oh, hello, Joker. Oh, Spoony. <laughs> so this is your first time playing the Joker, right? Yeah. So what did they ask for first? To hear your Joker laugh or just the regular Joker dialogue? Um, actually, I was working on. Uh, a Joker that I was uh, trying to get into another animated series, trying to um, do some of that, and I, I sent that work to Brandon Vietti, who's the creative producer of, of this show, executive producer, and he heard it and he goes, you know, Jason, because I had worked with him on Young Justice where I played Kid Flash, and he goes, you know what, Jason, that would be great for Lego Joker. We want to give that a shot. I'm like, absolutely, that would be fantastic. I've played with Legos ever since I was a kid. My daughters play with Legos. I love the Lego universe and the sense of humor. It's just, it's, it's a creative cornucopia of joy. Let's do that. So really there wasn't anything one particular thing first. I just brought my atoms forward and there it was. Okay. It seems like there's a Joker resurgence lately, like it's the summer of Joker. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Because we've it's got the, the summer of Joker. We've got the Suicide Squad. Yes. We've got the Killing Joke. Yes. And, of course, this and world this premiere right here. Yeah, yeah. I, and I was chatting with somebody about that, that there is a Joker kind of in all of us, especially when uh, this, the society we live in and the world we live in is kind of going helter-skelter and a bit crazy, and we all feel that... Um, we can't let it out necessarily, but the Joker can do that for us. So we, since we all have a little bit of that Joker side in us, that's where the joy of watching the Joker comes from, is it's a piece of all of our humanity. We all, at some point, get a little Jokery, and watching someone else do that allows us to experience that freedom without, of course, going nuts and unhinged. Sometimes we all wish we could just do that. and. Uh, that's the joy the audience finds in him, I believe. And it seems like the Joker had a little bit more fun this time because he got to pick on all the other Justice League members instead of Batman. Yes, it was a, a party where they invited everyone and the Joker crashed it, which is the best time. It truly is. As, as, as an actor, you, you wish and you hope to get a chance to play the Joker in a world like this, where, of course, he's talking to himself as a spoon and he's getting the best of multiple superheroes, and it's a big tour de force uh, of all that the Joker can be. So I, I feel incredibly rewarded, and, you know, and, and it's a great gift to be able to play in that world. Well, we're excited about watching the world premiere right here next, and it comes out on Digital HD. It's out on Digital HD right now. And then Blu-ray and DVD come on July 12th. Right on. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Jason. Good to meet you, brother. Man, the Joker, anytime you get a chance to play that role, it's a, it's a gift. It's a great big present you get to unwrap on Christmas, you know, because you played the Joker. That's right. And it just kind of takes the can off the top of your, your creative juices, and you get to do whatever you want. Because you can't really go too far. I mean, you know, if you're, you're making a Joker laugh, and you're, you haven't gone too far, you haven't done it right. 
so yes, to, to play the Joker in this was an absolute treat. And I, I have to say, as soon as I read the script and saw that I got to talk to myself as a spoon, I was like, I was like, oh, this is on. This is on. Spoon. You made the spoon a different was a spoon a different character or just a? Yeah, I imagine the spoon is a different character because the Joker's mind that's not him anymore. It's a spoon. Right? I mean, doesn't that make complete sense if you're insane that the spoon is a person? Can I have a person, Joker? Oh, Spoony, yes you are. Oh, Spoony. Yes, Joker? Tell me I'm the best. You're the best, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the villains are loose, Deathstroke. Isn't he some kind of mercenary? Let's talk. More bad pursuit. The criminals are in control. Gotham is ours. I hate Gotham City. These criminals are so weird. And rebuilding justice. Wow. Will take every hero on the block. You wouldn't hit a lady. No. Good. No. Okay, call Wonder Woman. No! Let's do this! When the bat's away, the Joker will play. <laughs> <clears throat> That's really not very funny. Everyone's a critic. Lego DC Comics Superheroes Justice League Gotham City Breakout. Look for it on Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD.